Hey, welcome back to the Push Full Warren Podcast. I'm your host, Alex. In today's episode, we're diving deep into the heart and soul of entrepreneurship. We're talking about the mindset. Mindset matters. It's not just a saying. It's the foundation of every successful entrepreneur's journey. Take it from me. I've been down this road for the last 20 years. I wouldn't change a thing. I could take away the, the lows. I could change the highs and everything in between. But ultimately, my particular journey as an entrepreneur has made me who I am. And so I wouldn't change a thing about it. And the challenges, that's just part of the journey. So today I want to explore with you why resilience and mental well-being are not just buzzwords, but they're essential tools in your entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurial toolkit. Why? Because Whether you have a family, whether you are building multiple brands, there's this expectation that you need to constantly push hard, push hard and harder. And what happens is it it can really catch up to you. And so your mental well-being becomes very important, self-care, right? But also building that kind of resilience to, to push through because it's not easy, right? Especially for those of you that are in the influencer creator world, there are definitely lots of barriers and challenges and 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 things that are outside of your control, like for example, the algorithm. So whether you're battling the highs and lows of business ownership or striving for the next big breakthrough, this episode is really just a way to guide you through maintaining balance and building the resilient mindset. And I will tell you, uh, I've been hosting another podcast for almost four years now called the Dadpreneur Podcast. And with the Dadpreneur Podcast, what I do is share a lot of um, my stories as a dad. I'm a dad of four. And my wife and I uh, also homeschool our kids. So, you know, we, we live life a little bit different. And the businesses that I've built are I wouldn't call them lifestyle businesses in in the true sense of the of the word, but um, it's more of a balance type situation where everything that I do, all the different businesses or projects that I take needs to fit into what I do in my life. So whether it's taking on clients that I care about their you know mission to their services or working with nonprofits or giving back, Um, or working with partners, um, co-founders like um, Sharif from Pushbio, which is uh, our, uh, from the podcast, it's sponsored here by Pushbio, which is a influencer marketing app. So I don't talk about it a lot in the podcast because ultimately I want the podcast to be about content creation and, and the creator world. But um, but I should do a better job mentioning that this podcast is definitely, no doubt, would not be possible without my partner, Sharif, co-founder of Pushbio. So when you get a chance, check it out, pushbio.io. And it, the reason I'm bringing that up is because with Pushbio, there's an entrepreneurial story there that is playing out right now from the time that I met Sharif last year. We started building this uh, app and and it's you know it's just incredible because you meet people from different walks of life but then you 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 build a, you can build a business and grow together and have similar goals now sharif lives in the in the uk and i live here in the us so and we both have other businesses that we run um and we both have families so the the this entrepreneurial mindset that i'm talking about is is something that i know all too well so what what does it actually mean to have this entrepreneurial mindset well for me i can tell you it means that i need to have big goals it means that i need to have good people around me to you know help me stay accountable stay focused entrepreneurial mindset i can tell you you know it, it, it yes it is resilience it is staying focused committed uh dedicated but it all that can't happen if you don't have good people around you so to me the the role of mindset navigating uh, the waters of entrepreneurship is is one that you're going to build and adapt to your own style right if you if you have a more laid back style and you don't want to have big audacious goals that's okay too 
you know, we, we should all be in, in you know, accepting each other's uh, way of life, right? It's not for everybody to go work 50, 60, 90, 100 hours a week. Um, and I used to be one of those people that I'd wear it like a badge. But then after I built a family and m- some of my businesses matured, I was able to say, well, now I don't need to uh, work crazy like 70, 80 to 100 hour work weeks. I did that early in my career, in my entrepreneurial journey. And if I had to do it again, I would do it again, but I don't need to do it. I have teams of people, uh, really, really great people who are committed. And and so I want to reward them. Um, in, in that way. And so that to me is what my entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial mindset is. So I would, if you're a creator, if you're an influencer, uh, a business owner, think about what your my entrepreneurial mindset is. It's not going to be like anybody else's and you could read all the books, listen to all the podcasts. You should definitely build your own. And no doubt that resilience is the entrepreneur's superpower. For me, it is, you know, it's more than just bouncing back when things don't go well. Right. It's it's uh, it's you've got to have real world strategies for building resilience in the face of setbacks and failures. And that to me is something that doesn't happen overnight because, you know, sometimes it's something completely outside of your area of control, like finances, for example. You may lose a big client or a big deal uh, or a project may go south and you need to shift gears quickly. You can't sit there and you know uh, cry and get too emotional. But in the same token, we have to think about your mental well-being because that that is to me if if the superpower for being an entrepreneur or the the if we're talking about the entrepreneur's mindset, and I say the entrepreneur's superpower is resilience, then I'm going to say that the foundation of your success is mental well-being. That's the foundation because being able to stay um, focused and balanced um, and not losing it, having that high emotional intelligence that we all want to have. But sometimes you, if things are just, you, you have too many fires to put out in any given day, it can, it can really bring you down. And so even if you have this like champion mindset, I'm going to be positive, I'm going to listen to some motivational stuff and I'm going to go to the gym and I'm, that's fine. But ultimately, if too many fires come up, um, it, it, it can put you at risk. So there is definitely a critical link between mental health and entrepreneurial performance, right? And so what you need to do is find the different things that work for you to manage your stress, anxiety, and burnout. And believe me, Uh, even after having been in this journey for over 20 years, I still deal with stress, anxiety, and burnout. Um, And and of course, you know, there are different things that you can do. Like, so for me, when I am experiencing any level of anxiety, I go straight to, I need to make a nice cup of tea. I need to go in this, you know, office here. And sometimes it's not the office. Uh, Sometimes it's in the uh, outside because I want to breathe the air and you know, standing bare feet on the grass, or uh, I might be weeding, or if I'm drinking my tea, I say, well, I'm going to put on some, you know, instrumental music and I'm going to meditate. Great. So I'm going to meditate for five, 10, 15, 20 minutes. That can help me overcome. So you have to find out what are the tools that you're going to use in the face of, of, of stress or anxiety, right? Now, balance and boundaries is definitely the key to long-term success. And I'm never going to, never going to say that, um, you know, I've, I've, I found exactly what works. It's, I think, constantly evolving. Six years ago, I decided to move my office to the, to the house, a house that's busy with a dog and four kids and my wife and people coming through and, um, and we homeschool the kids. So it can be chaotic at times. And so I figured, well, am I going to be able to do my best? Am I going to be able to be creative in, 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 in this day in, day out, um, crazy household, you know, crazy in a good way. And I found, you know, over time it's, it's, um, evolved, but it, I think that some people think that work-life balance, um, is, is not really something that can exist in entrepreneurial world. But I think it can, and it's something different to everyone. There isn't exactly a balance, um, but I think, like for me, um, having 
uh, kids who are homeschooled have, you know, and working from home, it's setting boundaries to protect my time, my energy, my mental health. I know that I need to every day as a part of my entrepreneurial uh, mindset, I know I need to do something physical, um, exercise. I need to get out, play basketball, play hard, play for, you know, 45 minutes or an hour, uh, go run, go biking, go hiking. I need to do those things. I don't like being in a gym, so I do a lot of those other things that are just out in nature. And those things for me really work well to get me energized for all the different ventures, for the the clients that depend on me, for the employees and my teams and my partners that need me. That's the entrepreneurial mindset for me, you know. And so the the balance isn't a, a very clear. There's definitely some gray area there, but it it it's it's mine and it's unique to me. And I think yours should be unique to yours as well. Now, growth mindset, embracing the challenges and, and, and the learning that you should be doing forever. The growth mindset to me is a huge one because it's that desire to continuously grow. And it, it is important for you to have continuous improvement and innovation. So if I think of innovation, like a few years back, I went and took a few courses on AI and it really helped me because when AI really blew up last year in 2023, I was able to um, go after certain projects that, um, you know, uh, required knowledge of, of artificial intelligence and also presented opportunities like go be a keynote speaker at a conference and talk about AI. Why? Because with this entrepreneur mindset that includes growth mindset, it, it allows me to constantly uh, be evolving and, and, and pushing myself to new limits. And so how to cultivate the, the, in your company, the culture of learning and adaptability in your, in your business is, is key. Like you have to lead by example. So you can't ask your team to uh, be a lifelong learner and adapt and evolve and learn new things if you're not doing that. And I think that it, it isn't just something you say to your team. It's something that you illustrate. Right. And I try to do that all the time. Uh, Get my hands dirty, you know, do the things that you might think, uh, you know, a CEO might not be doing. I I love to to get my hands in the projects. Now, you know, in terms of when I'm thinking of the 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 entrepreneur mindset for me, being involved in the community and giving back is is really important. Right. Um, So working with nonprofits, doing pro bono work, but then also like leveraging the community community. I mean, community could include my team, my clients, all the stakeholders, and then go to those networks and find ways that you can support others. Right. Because when you do for others, you will see that it comes back. And I know it sounds, you know, cheesy, but it's true. I know that in my life, the more I have done for others, um, the more I've gotten back. And so, you know, whether it's inspiration or, you know, just going a step further and thinking about um, the, the the connections that that really matter, you know, for your growth as an entrepreneur, as a creator, as a marketer. So I would really... As, as far as like any advice that I would give for the entrepreneur mindset is that um, you get involved with the community and you give back. Um, give your resources, give your tools. And I think it really also helps with your mental well-being. And it shows people that you're doing something here on earth that is bigger than just the business or content or product or service that you're selling and promoting. And that is a wrap for today's episode on the mindset. And, you know, again, go out there and and build your own mindset map, as I, I would refer to this, where you can cultivate the resilience and you can balance your mental well-being and go out and be the best entrepreneur you can be. There's no one like you. You know, you know remember the journey of entrepreneurship is much as much about your mindset as it is about your business model. So whether you're a solopreneur or you're building a brand, it, 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 it's all the same in that way, right? So thanks for tuning in to the Push Forward podcast. Stay resilient and keep pushing forward. I will see you on the next episode. 